Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets on the Thursday, the 16th of June, 2016. Please do visit tradesignal.com. Signals are market updates from leading providers, and you can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay. In terms of European markets today, we've been flushed quite uh, substantially on the, well, certainly gap down, and certainly have recovered from that gap down, uh, and mainly due to the, uh, the Nikkei. Uh, being flushed down uh, three percent overnight, almost five hundred points. The Hang Seng down to not uh, two percent, and the Shanghai down zero point five percent. Now, the lack of uh, stimulus or uh, stimulatory action from the BOJ certainly has triggered that and inspired that uh, sell-off. As you can see, the US DJPY now languishing uh, was languishing below the one hundred four level, and it has recovered now uh, off the one hundred three point six support zone. Now, the yen obviously is uh, moving higher, as we all know, whenever there's a risk uh, aversion in the markets, uh, you generally tend to have a flight to safety, and the safety zones are generally considered to be the uh, the uh, uh, CHF, yen, dollar, gold, uh, and obviously bonds. And that's exactly what's happening right now with all these yields uh, moving lower and lower and lower. Okay, so a flight to safety given the uncertainty regarding Brexit. Yes, I understand that. But the question now is, has it been priced in? OK, that's what will be on the back of everybody's mind. Has uh, Will it be the same scenario as the Scottish referendum where everybody talks about all these opinion polls being uh, in favour of, of a leave, leave, leave? And then eventually when it comes down to the actual voting day, we all get cold feet and uh, we all remain uh, vote for Remain. OK, so again, that certainly is, a, 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 is an area... Uh, to focus on as well okay so with regards to miss yellen as well yesterday she refrained from uh, increasing rates citing uh, brexit as the uns great uncertainty uh, and therefore she uh, she also pushed back any potential uh well, not any potential but certain potential rate hikes going forward so again uh, certainly a uh, an argument there that uh, a potential uh, for uh, and the u.s markets to be bullish but yet the market certainly interpreted that as being bearish which was quite strange uh, but again, uh, you can uh, certainly argue that uh, the uh, Brexit vote was on the back of everybody's minds. And obviously, BOJ stimulus as well. Maybe a lot of individuals wanted to dump the market prior to the BOJ move overnight. Either way, uh, all that news, sort of bearish news certainly has been factored in. All the uncertainty is out now, okay? And there certainly is room for a short squeeze. That's basically my interpretation. Okay, uh, let's have a look exactly where the markets stand in terms of economic data this morning. Uh, we have had stronger UK retail sales, uh, certainly are, are, are su uh, surprising to the upside. So again, that's certainly bullish for the FTSE 100, especially after yesterday's wage growth and uh, also claimant count and unemployment numbers, certainly coming out on the positive side. Uh, we've had stronger GDP from New Zealand out overnight. Uh, we've had stronger employment data out from uh, Australia out overnight. So certainly... Uh, signs of growth okay certainly signs of growth there okay one can't ignore that also we did have strong UK retail sales u.s retail sales yesterday as well okay uh, in terms of uh, inflation data out of eurozone this morning more or less came in in line although the month on month figure did actually beat okay uh, and now we are, we are looking forward to the boe and we also have uh, u.s jobs data inflation data philadelphia and housing market data as well so again a barrage of US data, and that will dictate the uh, the actual moves in the market. Okay, where are we positioned now from a technical perspective? Let's bring up the FTSE 100. Uh, you can clearly see here on the uh, FTSE, uh, the weekly chart certainly is uh, potentially holding key support zones, which is around the 5930 and the 5880. That is your key zone on the weekly chart for the FTSE 100. The uh, daily chart of the FTSE 100 at the moment, we certainly seem to be holding this zone at the 5920 and the 5910 and the 5900 so that level certainly is being held 60 minute chart the FTSE 100 has held double bottom you certainly have a uh, bottoming tail here as well on the FTSE so certainly an argument to move higher okay 10 minute chart on the FTSE 100 certainly holding gap fill support at the 5920 zone certainly looking to move higher on the back of stronger UK retail sales okay FTSE 100, that provided that support holds at 5920, you are looking for a move higher. Looking at the German DAX now, daily chart certainly holding support, okay, certainly holding support after the gap down post BOJ, consolidating, uh, bullish consolidation as well, given the fact that we've held that triple bottom, okay. A 10 minute chart certainly seems to be uh, wanting to uh, trigger this bull flag scenario, a bull flag scenario up to gap fill above, okay. So watch out for gap fill at 9606 on the German DAX. 
In terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you again. Remains bullish, bullish scenario again. Certainly consolidating here, looking to potentially move higher, folks. Okay, so all eyes on that zone. Okay, so certainly keep an eye on that zone in terms of the uh, the actual market itself. Okay, so again, certainly indicating or inclining towards a bullish stance there. Okay, now in terms of the uh, euro stocks, let's bring up the euro stocks, European indices for you as well. Let's see exactly where we are. Okay, Euro stocks, here we go. Okay, Euro stocks at the moment held gap fill and certainly looking to uh, potentially move higher. Okay, looking for gap fill above, which is around the 2830 zone on the upside uh, if you are in the bullish camp. Okay, daily chart of the Euro stocks certainly has held and is certainly holding support, looking for a move higher. Okay. So from my perspective, certainly looking to move higher. Uh, oil itself, again, is uh, another interesting chart. Your four-hour chart certainly is held in held support and looking to hold support. Also, given the fact that inventories data certainly last night certainly helped the uh, price of oil. You have had uh, stronger GDP from uh, New Zealand, stronger employment date from Australia, uh, stronger retail sales from the UK this morning, all helping uh, the sentiment uh, to potentially turn bullish. Okay, so certainly looking for a move higher here as well on oil and that should certainly help global markets especially with regards to miss yellen's dovish stunt yesterday that should certainly help the commodity sector as well okay euro 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 itself uh, certainly moving lower again helping the cause for european equities okay even with a dovish stance from yellen euro is moving lower generally tells you that risk is being embraced so certainly take that into consideration as well okay now in terms of uh, gold, gold certainly has, uh, uh, from my perspective, is, is run its course. Okay, gold is now holding resistance on the weekly chart. You can see you're into 200 MA and horizontal resistance. Daily chart, you're into resistance. So therefore, if gold is holding resistance, then you are looking at a, a risk on trade. Okay, risk is now being embraced, given the fact that gold is into resistance and you are looking at equities moving higher. Okay, money will start to pour back into equities, out of bonds, out of gold. So if I bring up the bond chart as well, this is going to be interesting. Bear with me, folks. Well, so let's bring up the euro bond. Okay, euro bond at present as well. Daily, you can see you are looking at resistance here. If I bring up the 60-minute chart, you can clearly see a double top on bonds. So money will start to come out of bonds, okay, and into the actual equity market. Okay, so uh, conclusion here, risk on. Okay, as always, uh, I always joke, wax on, wax off, risk on, risk off. But on this occasion, it's risk on and markets are looking to move higher, folks. Okay. On that note, please do uh, visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that uh, healthy bonus. Goodbye now.